So, I just realized apparently that I wasn't recording. So, you gonna miss a big chunk of what just happened. So, I keep, unfortunately, I don't have a way to go back. So, I'll fill you in on what happened. So, what had happened was, I fought the monster. And I came back to the city. And when I got back to the city, this factory behind the characters was on fire. And uh, whenever I went inside, there was a giant archaism. I fought it. I beat it first try. And then the RMP showed up to help evacuate. Reed got in trouble for going in there when he wasn't, when he was strictly told to stay out of it the night before. But he's like, I don't care. And so they're thinking that the Imperial Liberation Front did this because they're terrorists. And apparently that the Archaeisms that were in this building had been shipped here over three months ago, which means that it was planned pretty far in advance. And that's all you need to know. Captain Claire, what is it? There's no sign of the Provincial Army. And now they should be well aware of what happened here. Also, I'm going to take a quick sec to use some nasal spray because my nose is stuffed up and that's annoying. Anyway, sorry I wasn't recording that. Again, it was only like 10 minutes of stuff, but still, sorry. You just have to ignore the sneezes. Anyways. <clears throat> Again, I'll try to be more careful in the future. I'm glad I noticed it before I missed the whole episode of recording, but either way, sorry guys. Captain Claire! We've got trouble at the nine. I mean at the mine. It's been hit by the terrorists! Blast them. What? I feared as much. All units withdraw, we're going to the iron mine. Send in a message HQ, I need 12 companies for the surrounding area here inside of two hours. What's going on? I'm not sure, but from the sound of things, the mine we were at yesterday was being attacked by the terrorists. Oh no, the miners! So it's gonna better shake a leg. Yeah, come on, let's follow them. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Ugh, every minute we spend here, things are getting worse for the miners. Stay calm, Elisa. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, the railway military police are on their way, after all. Let's at least try and get a look at what's going on. But man, if terrorists really were planning to blow up the mine, it would shake the very foundations of the Empire. Oh. It's fine. We got it! That looks like a tough one. Be careful! I don't wanna. We got this. I haven't lost yet. Holy crap. This is awful. Storms pouring all over the place. Can't see too far like this. Did the terrorists have fire or something? 
Don't think the fire's been put out, but something still feels off, or seems off. So the terrorists decided to strike here rather than the military factory. Look, over there by the entrance! Oh man. It looks like the real military police and the provincial army. Yeah, but what are they doing here? Looks like the entrance is completely blocked off too. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. That's right, I remember this. Don't worry, we're gonna get you! The terrorists have complete control of the mine. They've taken the miners hostage. Any attempt to enter the mine may put their lives in jeopardy. And that's why you're standing out here twiddling your thumbs without even attempting to negotiate with them? They clearly have an objective in mind here. We can't allow them to buy any further time. Looks like a pretty heated argument. But the terrorists have taken over the mine. And the first ones on the scene, the provincial army, have taken it upon themselves to set up a blockade. Or at least that's what it looks like at first glance. But, but why? Man, this has suspicious written all over it. Yep, the provincial army is too well prepared. No matter how you look at this, they gotta be in on it. Y you can't be serious. In on it, the terrorists set off some kind of explosion in there. Look at all the smoke pouring out. That's what they want you to think. But that doesn't look like smoke from the fire to me. They're probably using smoke grenades. Smoke grenades? If that's true, that means the provincial army has some other reason for blockading the mine. Maybe it's got something to do with the Ryan Fitz first factory. Oh, that's right, the Roman military police were investigating the first factory too, weren't they? Yeah, that's what Captain Claire said. And that makes the timing of this look pretty dang suspect. Almost like there's something they're trying to hide. And that mean they'd seal the mine to give them time to dispose of it. Makes a fair bit of sense if you think about it. What could they be trying to hide? What's down there? I want to know for sure right now, but what I can say though, is it's pretty dangerous. It's pretty likely the miners are in danger. We need to find some way in there to help them. Let's return to ruin for now. We need to think of what to do next. Yeah, if we go in, it's better to have a plan. Alright. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Well, to start with, we need to work out exactly what's going on here. If it's true that the terrorists are working with the Noble Faction, then it seems likely their aim is to eliminate the evidence of whatever they've been hiding in the first factory. But did they really have to go this far? It's a question. The Iron Mine is owned by His Majesty the Emperor himself, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. The province of Nortia is tasked with managing it while Reinford mines, refines, and processes the iron. And iron is the single most vital natural resource to this nation's continued survival. If this isn't resolved quickly, it's going to deal <clears throat> a heavy blow to the entire country, including the nobles themselves. So I guess the question is just whether the noble faction and the terrorists realize that or not. Sounds to me like they're a pretty divided bunch as it is. Yep. The terrorists seem like they're basically all commoners too. Yep. They're only cooperating because they both see the Chancellor as a common enemy. And if that's the case, it seems pretty likely that what they're doing here is related to that somehow. Yeah. It sounds like someone started the party without me. Now look who it is. Angelica! You came too, George? Yo, figured you'd show up eventually. Well, we had to test the sidecar, obviously. This bike is just full of surprises. We made the trip to Ruhr in seven hours. Seven hours so on the bike. So speed-wise, we're looking great. Comfort, though, we're gonna have to tweak a few things. I swear, you two never change. Kind of figured Toho wouldn't be able to make it, too. Yeah, she's working on gathering a boatload of information, though. She said she'd be in touch if she finds anything out. <laughs> well, cool. that's reassuring, at least. Um, could someone tell me what's going on? 
You seem to be hot on the trail of something, but I'm not sure it's the same thing we're investigating. Does this have something to do with those family affairs you told me you were worried about? Yeah, it does. I had some nagging suspicions about it. All right. Unfortunately, my hunch turned out to be right on the money. Hold on. Isn't the director of the first factory... My dear Uncle Heidel Rodner, yeah. Uncle, huh? Seems like it might do us both some good to swap info. How about it? Now let's find a better place to talk. Goes to a bar. <laughs> They're dumping iron onto the black market? Yeah. The amount of steel they're producing doesn't quite match up with the amount of iron ore being mined. That's been the case for quite a few years now. Mm. Officially, the reason given is that the purity of the ore being mined is lower now than it used to be. But if you look at what's coming out of the mine, there's no evidence of that. Well, that would explain why the figures don't add up. Yep. And because they were feeding the raw iron onto the black market rather than the finished steel... That makes it a lot harder to notice when a little bit is missing here and there. Man, Toa put all the pieces together on her own? I'd expect no less from my beloved Toa. Hmm. She poured over everything. Reinford's yearly sales figures, government reports of the mine's productivity, you name it. That's how she picked up on the discrepancy. That's some serious dedication. She's really something else. I don't think I could do that. Iron ore being sold off the black market. Accounting sheets that don't add up. George, how much iron ore is unaccounted for, roughly speaking? Do you know? Assuming for a moment that all the missing iron was refined into steel, how much steel would we be looking at? You could say the trail of the steel has gone cold. <laughs> this is just a bit of speculative math on my part, but I'd say somewhere in the neighborhood of 100,000 torum which is enough to build 2,000 oxen tanks. Jeez. 2,000? That's practically an army. The Saxon iron mine is a pillar of the Empire's economy. The amount of iron they pull out of there is almost ridiculous. Even if you pocket a small amount every year, it's going to add up to a lot of iron real quick. But what are they planning to do with all of it? Is the noble faction trying to make their own tanks in secret? They couldn't even if they wanted to. Only the second factory has the knowledge and equipment to make tanks. And not only does the second factory have mm. close ties with the Imperial Army, it also leans toward the reformist faction. You need all kinds of complicated technology to make even a basic tank. Yeah. It's not as simple as just grabbing some steel, some blueprints, and some grease and getting to work. So what does that leave them? Selling the iron to another country for profit? Maybe. I don't know how likely that is. Seems like deals that big would be too easy to trace. Okay, so setting aside the ore itself for a moment, now that you know this, and given what's happening in Ruhr right now, what were the two of you planning on doing? Oh, it's pretty simple. My uncle oversees the first factory, and the provincial army is blockading the mine. There's no way my family isn't involved. On the other side, you've got all the miners just trying to do their jobs who got dragged into this whole mess. I'm a Rogner. I might not be a great daughter, but there's no way I'm gonna let this go on without putting up a fight. There we go. Angie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're seriously gonna go talk to your old man about this? <laughs> Hell no. Like he'd even listen to a word I said. Same goes for the provincial army. I'd just be wasting my breath. That's why I'm planning on sorting out this mess myself. Heck yeah, let's go. I used to work part time in the mine. Punch first, ask questions later. As long as I can find my way inside, I think I can handle the terrorists well enough. Uh, I figured you'd say something like that. Honestly, does nothing faze you? In that case, I'd like to ask that you take us along. Uh, we can look at this as a test of how to best respond to a sudden crisis. Looking at it from that perspective, I think it fits neatly within the scope of our field study. You, <laughs> you seem to be brought into that scope as, uh, to fit your own wills, but you're right. Yeah. After hearing all that, I don't want to let them have their way. Agreed. I'm with Angelica here. My family's involved in this too. I feel like I have a duty to do something about it. Thanks. Truth be told, I was kind of hoping you'd back me up anyway. 
Whatever help you can give, I'll take it. <laughs> well, that's that. The next thing we need to consider is how to slip into the mine without the provincial army taking notice. Easy peasy. At the very least, Angie should be able to get the officer in charge to talk with her, but... So, what, will you sneak inside while she's distracting them? I don't know. That sounds a little overly simplistic to work. Hmm. Leave finding our way in to me. If anyone's good at cutting red tape, it's my mother. Maybe she could help us out. Whoa. She could. Would she? Well, if you think so. All right, I'll leave securing an alternate route to you then. For now, I'm gonna see if I can find out anything else about my family's or the provincial <sighs> army's involvement here. George, give Toa a call and see if you can find out what the Imperial government is doing about all this. Gotcha. I'll see if I can turn up any machinery that might be useful too. <laughs> this is starting to feel like last year's field studies all over again. <laughs> yep. The first order of business we wanted to see chair and We should get going too. Your mother said she'd be back at the ride for her headquarters by now, right? I think so. Sharon says she'd be in around noon. We can always just ask at the reception desk, though. Yeah. Looks like we'll be kicking it in the high gear again. I feel like every field study is destined to end up like this. <laughs> yeah, some unforeseen thing happens that you all just get involved in with Keldick. It was the terror. It was the the Jaegers, I believe. Nord, it was that thing, you know, the one with Heimdall, it was the terrorist. Or with Berea Hard, it was, you know, Machias getting locked up, and then, you know, just the Graham and the castle, and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Lady Elisa, thank goodness you're alright. I was so worried when you'd left the city. You're talking about the trouble at the mine, right? Actually, I was hoping to talk with Mother about that. Is she in her office right now? Chairman Aaron, I just returned a show while ago. Would you like me to set up an appointment? Please. Yes, that's right. Oh, lady uses. Understood. She can see you right now, though she can't spare more than a few minutes. If you plan to head up right now, she's waiting for you in her office. Alright, let's head up to floor 23. Right. But I get the feeling Sharing is going to be right there to welcome us. You can count on it. Let's go. It's fun. again, huh? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Rhineford household. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in, then. Of course. Please follow me. We're so close to the next game. Bring I just want to get to it. As you I just want to get to it. I just want to get to it. It's so good. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night, but it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. Oh, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising, given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. But 
the provincial army barricading the mine and refusing to mm -hmm. budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. That's it? The First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore into the black market for years now. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Hmm. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the First Factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, mm. and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine, and how to respond to that. She's got a point. This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Mm. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? I... Um, well... If you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. Mm -hmm. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. But... Yeah, I don't think so. Mm. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. Mm. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger. And all along, I just looked the other way. Right. You're a bad daughter. <laughs> but in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. Mm. But even with that, I and all of us really have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. Let's go. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> as your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? Naturally. But I still need more experience before I can do that. Mm. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh. Yep. It's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Certainly. <laughs> Maxer. <laughs> Here, my lady. Is it a key? Yep. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruler City to the Iron Mine. I knew it! 
Wait. There's really a secret passage? Yep. The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Hmm. If we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the provincial army. Yep. Congratulations. I'm not going to say thanks. Oh. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies. Mm. And we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. <laughs> Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. If she wants to take the mantle of the Rhineford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. Hmm. Yep, I agreed to meet in front of the maintenance room to hit the secret passage to the mine. <laughs> Alright, let's go! underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine. You're for real, though. really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, <laughs> the best spots in the entertainment district, um, you know, the really important things in life. <laughs> it's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can. Too easily. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master. <laughs> yeah. Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> Can't deny that. That's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. So, you think this is gonna work? Oh yeah, ma'am. Take it to take right. it to tap. That should do it. Cool beans. What is this thing? An orbital wave orbital antenna? Yep. It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince him to let me borrow it. It cool. emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use your Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. Nice. That sounds pretty handy. It you is. Can do that? Yep. Yep. Toe is busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. And... Thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Always room for one more with us. Mm -hmm. Your knowledge of the mine will really be invaluable. It sure will. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Uh, the maximum number of supporters temporarily increased to three. What's your level at, girl? Whoa! <laughs> nice. A lot stronger than I'd care to admit. 
You're gonna have to do something about that. Smart! Hmm. Looks like this is just a one-way path. Well, no chance of us getting lost in here, at least. Let's run on through. Bang! Got him. This one's all ours. All right. Thanks, Ooh. Done. Done. Here we go. Leave it to me. Keep that. My turn. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. You're dead. Analysis complete. Go. Bang. The power of the eight leaves. Please hold your block. Good job, Crow. I love you. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Crab! It's not a crab. Take a my turn. Bang, 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 bang. It's my turn. <laughs> All right. Bang. And it wasn't enemy attack patterns. Bang, bang, bang. Leave it to me. Bang. You're done. Now we're talking. Let's keep it up. Nice. Yep. Cool offensive arc process. Okay. Ooh. I did it. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Bring it on, my turn. All right, let's get motivated. Jesus. Leave it to me. Nice. All right, success. Gonna make you level sixty. EP Charjo. Item Ghetto. Oh yeah, Toe's been pretty worried about all of you, you know. Well, glad to know she's looking out for us. Yeah, the way feels. All right, if you want to fight Here that badly. Bang. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. That. that takes care of them. Nice. Yep. Uh huh. Let's go. Nice. Yep. Watch out, guys. Leave it to me. Eat that. Go. Right. Bang. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> We've been walking for ages. How far are we at this point? That'd yeah, be pretty Judging close. By the distance we've traveled, I'd say we're about halfway. Uh, how can you tell that? <laughs> oh, trigger chest. Ooh, Chrono Bursto. Hey, don't turn around. 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 Dad, come it. Watch out, guys. Here we go. Fine. Six. Bang, bang, bang. Right. Bang. Leave it to me. Bang. Right. Get field. Here we go. Bang. All right. Bang. It's my turn. Bang. Bang. Here we go. Bang. My turn. Bang. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Hold it up. My turn. Bang, bang, bang. That takes care of them. Mm. Indeed it does. Absolutely clean and high. Who else? Leave it to me. 
picked the wrong guy to mess Whoa, with. dude, that was epic. It's a shame that doesn't work on bosses. That would be really funny, just to like one shot a boss like that. Like it's not impossible with the right setup. This path's gotten real twisty all of a sudden. Hmm. I wonder if they built it like that to avoid the mine shafts. Maybe. If that's true, that must mean we're almost there. Ha! Enemies ahead! Here we go! Alright, let's do this! My turn! Let's uh boost. Bang! 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 bang. Mm. Right. Here we go! Gotcha! gotcha. Leave gotcha. it to me! <laughs> Handsome and strong. I'm the total package. Good job, Crow. Curia Balm. I'd like to cure your balm. Over there. Looks like we made it. Hmm. Is the end of the passage? It must be. I don't see any ways to go but up. So right above us. All right, let's get climbing. I'll bring up the rear. Crow, you're going first. Enrin, Elliot, Machias, and that. Uh, okay, that's fine with me. But <clears throat> give it up, Crow. I've known you long enough to exactly what would happen if I let you go last. Go on and get climbing. Wait, Angelica. That's so they don't look up our skirts. You don't have to spell it out. I guess I can always count on Crow to be Crow and Angelica to be Angelica. No kidding. No, I don't see why she'd put herself last, though. I can ask her to guess. You'd think with the situation and her mind would be on other things, but it seems not. Right. Here we go. Your bliss. Stop that, Angelica! Just kidding around. I love it when you're angry. I swear, I swear. this girl. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't need to heal. Mm -hmm. Isn't the sit off mine shaft we got that sample from yesterday? So this is where the tunnel comes out. If we have through this mine shaft, we ought to come out on the other side of the cordon off entrance. We need to find out what's going on in there. Agreed, let's get going. Oh. Green here, is that you, George? Yeah, sounds like you made it through the tunnel. Reception still seems clear. Looks like I'm able to keep you up to speed. All right, we're counting you. Any new developments on your end? Yeah, Toe called me from the capital and says she got some info not too long ago. It sounds like a big chunk of the RMPs on the move, gathering and roaring Otis. Otis. I'm guessing they're trying to do what they can to get the situation under control. But there's no telling how long that will take. You're going to need to hurry. Got it. What did George tell you? Well, apparently... They're headed to Ortis, too? Heh, <laughs> not bad. Goopies in Ortis, aren't they? Maybe something's happening there, too? It's possible, but either way, it doesn't look like we have much time. Let's get going and stay alert! Right! You got it, Rin! I shut up, Elisa! Oh. Oh, it's an Arcadeism. I didn't expect that. Huh. Cool. My turn. Bang! 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 The power of the eight leaves. Nice. It's a wolf! Enemies ahead! 
Alright. Have to fight. It's a big wolf. Here. Yeah, powerful enough to break through thick armor. Alright, to me. <laughs> eh. There we go. Second floor. Damn. Leave it to me. You're dead. My turn. Oh. 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 Here we go. Oh. Safe for now. Look at that. Again. Look at it. Oh. What a nice looking treasure chest. Yep. Altier cannon. Ep charge three. Looks like this place is crawling with archaisms. Just like Aurelia. Yep. There's some monsters I didn't see when we were here yesterday, too. They must have brought them in from outside. Be careful. Oh, it's a bam! I did not expect the instant death. I forget that that's an ability he has. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I'm going the wrong way. Yes? No? No, I'm going the right way. I'm going the right way. Oh, you weenie. Bang, bang, bang. Get frozen! Oh. Get petrified. You're gonna die. My turn. Right. Good job. I'll you up. Sweet victory. Well deserved one of that. Nice. Like Let's take him out. Second bang, bang, bang. Leave it to me. Bang. My turn. Bang. Leave it to me. Bang. My turn. Bang. Save for now. Nice. I did it. Range is slowly becoming the king. Oh, looks like we've arrived. There's no one here, and the layout looks totally different from what I remember seeing yesterday. Looks like someone's gone to the trouble setting up a bunch of barriers to make this difficult for us. They're not just terrorists, they're inconsiderate too. What a bang out combo. Well, at least it looks like we don't have to deal with those goons from the provincial army here. They're probably all posted around the entrance to stop anyone from getting in. But the real question is where the terrorists are. Where the terrorists are holding the hostages. It looks like we can head that way. Going that way will take us to the into the active branch house. And what better place to hide if you're a terrorist? Looks like they've got their archaisms on the prowl too, just like back at the factory. If we want to save the hostages, we'll have to get through them. You ready? Let's start moving. Certainly did. Here we go. All right, let's do this. All right. Bang, bang, bang. And it wasn't enemy and attack. And I've got it. Got you. Leave it to me. Bang. Here we go. Leave it 
it to me. Bang, get him. Get him. My turn. Here we go. go. Let's go and got him. Right. This is our real power. Please hold your blocks. Let's see. So the provincial army and the RMP are having their shouting match out there. Let's just leave them to it. We need to head further in. Okay. Right. And get him, gang. You're dead. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> You better believe it. Watch out, guys. And what else is in the treasure chest? Head of water curl and you're done. Jeez. Nice, look at that. Rogna Vortex. Let's go this way. Watch out, guys! My turn. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> bang. Leave it to me. Bang. It's my turn. Bang. Oh no, you don't. Here we go. Bang. Oh no, you don't. My turn. Bang. Right. Bang. All right, let's keep going. Dude, Reem's just got like the best versatility to me. Dang! Oh. Bring it on. Here we go. Bang, 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 bang. Gotcha. My turn. Got him. Come on, take that. Got him. Leave it to me. Now. Go. You're done. Here we go. You're done. Right. You're dead. No time to waste. <laughs> You're dead. That's all I can say. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Question mark. I get the feeling that there's about to be a boss battle here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Called it. China cases and dead end. Except we're on the right track. And the presence of guards means there's something we're here worth guarding. Just have to scrap these machines if we want to peek. See how strong they really are. Leave it to me. Okay, so Crow doesn't have much in terms of first turn usage. So My turn. Knows. But Reen right. does. Reen's got that double boost. There we go. It's my turn. Okay. Get out of here. Yeah. Leave it to me. Now. Go. There we go. go. All right. Let's right. do this. All right. We'll get you. All right. We're going to destroy you. Give it up, everyone. Leave it to me. How about this? Boop. Leave it to me. Mm. Bang, bang, bang. Mm. My turn. All right, let's do this. 
I wasn't motivated. There we go. Leave it to me. Eat left. Right. Now. I'll take you up. Oh. Oh no, you don't. My turn. All right. Let's do this. My turn. Listen to my solo oh, right. How about this? Go! I'll take you up. Go. Leave it to me. Bang, bang, bang! My turn. Let's go, Let's go everyone. Let's go ahead and uh, do right. this. Bap, 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 bap. My turn. Go. Leave it to me. Now. Go. There we go. My turn. Here we go. All right. Leave, it leave, it leave, it. leave it to me. How about this? Now. I'll take you up. There we go. Right. All right. My turn. Yeah, you're done. And yeah, you're done. Go ahead. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. So look at that. <laughs> I did easy peasy. Whew, that takes care of that. It's scary how they could just appear out of nowhere like that. I was really impressed with you. Like, are you sure do you know how to fight? What with you sitting in the back row with us? There's no rest to shake off, is there? In top form today. <laughs> That's probably thanks to my little sparring match with Ring the other day. Nah, if you hit me as hard as you laid into those arcades just now, I'd be running <laughs> through this mine on crutches. With them gone, it should be safe to see what they're hiding now. No one sets up defenses to guard an empty room. There's gotta be something. Only one way to find out. Again, I know I don't need it, but I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna save, and then we'll pick this up next time on Trail Suit. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Adios.